Welcome back folks, my name is Last no Meal, and today in Cyberpunk 2077 we're gonna be talking about a mod which I've been waiting for for two years now. Honestly, this is shaping up to be one of my favorite mods ever created for this game. So the name of the mod is Night City Interactions, Watson Drinks and Edge Runners Locales, done by Deceptius. Now, why is this mod so amazing? Well, it basically allows you to have a various interactions throughout Night City, including having a drink in different bars, cafes, cafes and diners throughout the city itself. So basically, you approach a bar, for example in Afterlife, and you can have a drink yourself. Or, even better, you can have a drink with your buddies. That is obviously going to revolve around, well, your relationships with those characters, so you haven't unlocked them yet, obviously you won't be able to have a drink with them. But, you can have a drink with Judy, Pan Am, Jackie, Carrie, Eurodyne, etc, etc, which actually raises this immersion throughout the game itself and the city, because one of the first things I said about this game and one of the things I would love to see in Cyberpunk 2077 is just having more interactions in an open world environment, because that way you can actually feel even more like you are part of the city, because you can actually take, you know, and just do activities around the city where every other person in the city or every other NPC can basically do. And especially having an interaction with different characters, even though, like, you don't have, like, the new recorded voice, voice lines, so what the mod does, it's basically reusing some of the older, you know, pep talk voice lines from various characters, and it just feels good, because when you're sitting down with a character, it feels like you're not just, you know, in a relationship as a part of a mission or something like that, but rather they feel like they're also a part of the city where they're going to be actively living there, either obviously Night City or out in the Badlands, but nevertheless, having a drink with them is just going to be that new level which makes the open world environment even better. And not just that, the mod also allows you to have different locations where you can sit lean and relax around Night City, like for example if you want to lean in the Corpo Plaza and just chill out there, you can do that. If you want to chill somewhere else and just basically look at Night City, you can do that as well. And it's definitely those little things which would make Night City feel even more alive in my opinion. And not just that, but also Modder implemented Edge Runner's locale interaction. So this means if you go to certain locations from each episode of Cyberpunk Edge Runners, there is going to be something you can do. First off, you can for example go to Corpo Plaza where David sees the first glimpse of Lucy, or for example go into Faraday's crib, etc. etc. So all of these things, like from Edge Runners, combine with Cyberpunk 2077 combined with the insane city CDPR has created because when it comes to just the art style, the details of Night City in general, I do believe CDPR absolutely nailed that part where you actually feel like you're in the city, especially when you look up into the skylines and all of that and you see these huge buildings ahead of you. And to have, as I said, these bonus things on top of that is a huge plus in my book and this just makes me happy that CDPR has released all of those modding tools because those modding tools are showing that people want to create more mods for Cyberpunk and I'm really excited about the future of those mods. So if you actually want to start the mod, once you installed everything, you just basically have to go to H10 or your apartment, enter V's apartment, go into your stash, and look if there is basically a text which is going to be like reboot Night City. Do not click that because that's going to shut off the mod, because if you ever have issues with it, you can just go there, press it, and the mod is not going to work, or well, it's going to pause and stop until you restart the game itself. But nevertheless, once you do that and once you go out in the open, you can do all of those interactions interactions throughout the game. And this mod is, I believe, just scratching the surface of what possibilities you can have throughout these mods, like an ability to have an animation when you eat, have an animation where you take something from your backpack, for example, which I'm sure that those things are gonna be coming in the near or well far future, depending on how much time do modders need to do that, and at the end of the day, there is going to be someone who is going to make those mods in general. So I don't wanna go too long with this one, because it's pretty straightforward, but if you want to install this, I'm gonna leave you a link down below, 
definitely check it out, see it for yourself, because I think, if, especially if you are on PC, this is a must-have mod to enhance your Cyberpunk 2077 experience. So thank you so much for watching, don't forget to tell me down below what do you think about all of this, and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button for more, because I'm uploading a lot of Cyberpunk 2077 content, and the next video is going to be a lore one. Also, huge thanks to my current Patreon supporters, and if you wanted to support the channel in an extra way, you can go to my Patreon or join through YouTube itself. Thank you again so much for watching, stay classy everyone, and I'll see you next time, chooms, bye bye. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go, go, go.